Hey everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And um, I'm glad to have you here. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different, something a little crafty, something a little budgety. Um, so it looks like a hot mess, but we're gonna put it all together. So stay tuned. Okay, so many of you who have been here have seen this. It's my monthly challenge notebook or binder. And um, I just wanted to explain a little bit. I explained it a little bit in my budget setup video way, way back. Um, but this is something that I made obviously out of just my craft paper. And then these are actually recipe card sleeves. Um, let's see. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this because it's clear. Um, let me see if I can find a piece of paper just from what I have here. Okay, so I still don't know if you can see that, but this is a recipe card um, holder or a photo album. Um, insert. This is from scrapbook.com, but you can get these at any um, craft store like a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels. And it's just a four by six. Actually, this is roughly six and a half by four and a quarter. So um, these are what I used. And then there's this pocket here and then another pocket here. So there's, you can fit two things. So when I did my little setup here, what I did is I cut this part off because I didn't need it. And then I cut along this perforated, I cut along right beneath this perforated edge so that the pocket would still have a, a bottom. And then, um, I also cut off the top a little bit. So my pockets are about three and three quarters, whereas these are four. So I just cut a little bit off the top um, and then use them for my savings challenges. So you can do it this way, um, like I did. Or you could keep it in its own little binder. You could buy a binder, I'm sure, for, you know, fairly inexpensively. And um, I think every other week or so, all of the um, Paper Studio products go on sale at Hobby Lobby. So you could probably get a binder for cheap and a two-hole binder. Or I think some of them are like um, three and three. <clears throat> Whatever um, you prefer. And then you could do January and February savings challenges. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, so what I have though is something for all of you budgeters who are on, on a budget, a low income budget like I am and want to try to do things for yourself. You could do this, you could do it this way and have January, February or any kind of monthly challenge or savings challenge that you want to do because this is a um, a6 envelope that goes in the budget binders that a lot of people in the community use and you can tell they're roughly the same um, these are a little bit wider and a little a little wider and a little shorter but it still fits money which I probably should have let me see so your money will fit in here like that or you can do it in a photo sleeve or recipe card sleeve, however you want to call it. And it'll fit right in there like, like that. So either way, it'll fit. These are just going to be a little deeper for your money. Um, let me put this back so I don't forget. So I wanted to kind of put one together with you, but um, I'm not going to use this and I'm not gonna use these photo sleeves. What I picked up, let me put these to the side. I picked up this photo album from the Dollar Tree. Now, because of inflation, it's actually a dollar, dollar 25 tree, um, but 
you could use this for your savings challenges. And it's a photo sleeve. So you can just put um, your little tracker in there like that. Or, oh wait, let me get my money again. Let's just get, and then you could put your money in here behind your little tracker like that. And this has, I didn't even count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it has at least twelve. It looks like it has twenty-four. But also, each side is its own pocket. So you could have 48 things in here if you wanted to use this. Um, I do have trackers in my Etsy shop that are... Um, let me just put these aside because these are new. Okay, so I do have trackers. I made these four by six specifically for an album like this. Now I know this is landscape and you insert everything portrait wise like that, but it would still fit. And you could just put everything in through the side. Um, I didn't list these on my Etsy shop, but I'm going to. Um, so I do have these in a four by six. I also have these in, um, the four by six ones are just landscape version, but I do have three by six versions in both landscape and portrait. And those are both already in my Etsy shop, but I'm going to go ahead and put these on in my shop as well. They'll be there before, um, Black Friday, I promise. They'll be there before Black Friday. So you could print these out, use them in conjunction with a little inexpensive photo album or photo sleeve. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. You can get them at, um, I've seen them at Michael's. I don't recall seeing them at Hobby Lobby, but, um, but yeah, you could use a four by six photo album or a recipe binder and just use, um, because these would also work well with this recipe, I don't know if you could see, with this recipe um, card. So if you did want to use it for the recipe holder, I would recommend, because see it's kind of warbly, it's kind of a tight fit, um, I would recommend printing at like maybe 96% instead of 100% just to shrink it down a little bit so it'll fit. But you could use it for January and then put February here and then stick your money behind or you can use um, a photo album or even a recipe card book. They sell the, the books with the sleeves already in them. Um, I know for sure they have them at Hobby Lobby because I've seen them. So anyways, I am going to put these in my Etsy shop. They will be up there before Black Friday, I promise. I just don't know when, but I know they'll be up there before Black Friday for you guys, for you guys who like to do Black Friday shopping. I am going to have a sale in my Etsy shop for Black Friday, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm going to put this to the side because um, I'm going to decorate my own um, monthly challenge binder with all of this that you see here. Because I'm also going to be um, working through it pretty much the same way. The challenge that I purchased on Etsy was $200 a month if you color in each icon. So I went ahead and made my own. These are also going to be available in my Etsy shop before Black Friday, I promise. So I have January, February, and March. They're mostly the same icons that I used for um, my blank version where you fill in your own amount. Um, like for these, there are 50 icons. So you could fill in your little icon and how much each one is worth. So you save according to your budget. If you only want them to be a dollar, then they're a dollar. And then you just color in as you save with the potential to save $50 because there's 50 icons. So um, these are a fill in um, kind of thing where you can, it can fit any budget. Um, this one is fairly manageable as well. Each one is worth five or $10 with the potential to save $200. And I only did these in landscape. I did not do them in portrait. Um, and these are also going to be available in my Etsy shop. So you have these um, 
like I said, the icons are fairly similar to the ones that I already have listed that are blank. Um, but some of them I just couldn't make work with putting the numbers in. So they're a little bit different, but not too, too much. So these are going to be available in my Etsy shop, and I'm going to be working through these next year for my savings challenges. So I wanted to make my little envelopes a little more festive -y. So if you're wondering why this one doesn't have any money, it's because I, I loaned my son some money so he's going to pay me back. So I'm going to, when he pays me back, I'm going to put money back into there because it, it was full. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I went to Hobby Lobby, as you guys know, Hobby Lobby is my favorite. And I got these different pattern papers for each month. So I got this one for January and then the heart one for February, this cute little one for St. Patrick's Day, March. April is these um, little Easter eggs. March, April, May, just florals for May. And then these monstera leaves for June, July, August, September. I was looking for one for apples, but I couldn't find one. So this is September, October, November, and December. So I'm going to cut these all down to three by six because that will fit in here. And I'm also gonna leave a little bit of a, um, I'm cutting down, cutting them down just a little bit smaller than the pocket because I'm going to laminate them. So they're a little more sturdy. Um, so I'm gonna cut them down to three by six. So they should fit in, in here. So I think I'm gonna take this one out and then take out the tracker just so that I can kind of get a good idea of like where I want my papers to be. So, um, I'm so sorry. Hold please. Okay, sorry. So I'm just gonna use my little um, plastic sleeve to kind of get an idea of where I wanna cut down so that the pattern will show. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut all of my papers to three by six, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I have cut down all of my pattern papers for each month, and they're just going to sit inside of the sleeve, just like that. So this one is for January. It's like a little wintry scene. And I love being crafty, and I love being able to incorporate that into my budgeting. I know there's a lot of people out there who I um, who I watch, and they like the um, plain, uh, I guess they call it aesthetic look, which is like the beige and the browns and all of the neutral colors, but I'm not like that. <laughs> I like color. <laughs> so... Um, Anyways, so yeah, I'm just going to do one of these for each of my pockets. I'm going to um, go ahead and laminate these and cut them down. And uh, just so that they're a little bit more sturdy um, within the pocket. Not that I'm in and out of these pockets a whole lot, but um, I'm, I, just, I just want to. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and laminate these and then I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have cut down and laminated all my little, um, I don't even know what you call these, but they're just gonna be decorations for my little um, monthly pockets. So um, we'll just put this one back in here. Just like that. So these are what I have been working through um, this year. And then I only have the December one left. Next year, it's going to be, you're gonna see my little dashboard in the front for January. And then I'm going to have my tracker in the back. So I, so I know this is January, it's really pretty. I'll do my little savings challenge, I'll tuck the money in here in the middle and then color in an icon. 
Um, the reason I didn't want to, um, I could have, and you could put these back to back and send it through the laminator so it's just like this. But I didn't want to because I wanted to be able to see this from the back of my pocket. Um, so I wanted to see this from the front of my pocket and then the tracker from the back. And so that wouldn't have worked if I put it in the same lamination sheet. Um, so then I can see my, sorry, was I out of camera? Okay. I um, wanted to see my tracker on the back. That's why I left them separate so that I could put my money in the middle. So that's what it's gonna look like for the coming year. Again, this will be February. We'll just stick them all in here so you could see. This will be February. This will be March. And then April. These are so cute. And you could do these for whatever size pocket you're going to be using. You can um, cut down, like I said, you can cut down the four by six uh, photo card or photo pockets. Um, or you can leave them as four by six and then just cut your pattern paper into four by six so that it'll fit in there. And you don't have to laminate it. The only reason I did is, you know, to make it a little bit more sturdy. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of people who do like all the neutrally things, but I like color. I like playful. Um, it just makes me, it just makes me happy. <laughs> I have no other excuse for that other than it just makes me happy to have color um, and uniqueness. I mean, I do love the little the little binders. I think they're really pretty with the pouch envelopes, the zipper envelopes. But then I just go back to my to my colorful little binders, and I don't know. I like it. I'm not going to do this one just yet. I mean, it's going to be December, but I am going to finish out this challenge for the year. So we'll just put it in here so you can see. But that's what my monthly challenges are gonna look like for the coming year. And I am going to do this one that has increments of five and $10 and a potential to save 200 each month. I'm gonna work through these next year. So if you guys wanna purchase these, they are going to be available in my Etsy shop with the dollar amounts. The ones that are blank that you assign a dollar amount of your choosing to each icon, those are already up there and those are in portrait and landscape. Um, this one with the dollar amounts is just going to be landscape. These will be listed before Black Friday. And then also for those of you who want to work through something like this, just like a photo album, um, if you wanna work through the photo album, I'm going to be putting these up in my shop as well. And these are the four by six. Um, assign your own dollar amount to each icon. So, um, yeah. So these are going to be available. These are going to be available. You can purchase these fairly inexpensively at the Dollar Tree, at Michael's. I'm not sure if they have them at Hobby Lobby. Um, but you can purchase these for fairly inexpensive. Or um, you can purchase like a recipe card book. Um, and they either have like two hole punches or three and three, but these just um, slip in through the top. And I think you can purchase a, a binder or an album for these as well. So, um, and these you can, are not limited to just these monthly challenges. There's a lot of people um, online, they have Etsy shops where they do savings challenges, um, different savings challenges. There's um, people who have little scratch off things. And I believe those will also fit in here. So you could make a binder, a big binder of just saving challenges and use the monthly um, savings challenge or anything else you uh, might want to purchase online. I think they have um, this size for um, like I said, scratch offs for, for different goals you might have in mind. Um, or you can use something like this, which would also work as well. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope you like this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And again, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If, um, Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up on your way out and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.